Students, families, counselors, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us for this Kansas virtual college fair. A few housekeeping items before we begin with today's college fair. This college fair is a six by six model. So each hour there will be six institutions presenting for six minutes. And then at the very end of the uh, 45 minutes or so, uh, there's time for additional open-ended questions as well. So we encourage you throughout today's webinar to submit your questions via the Q&A button that you see on your screen. If you have a specific question for a specific institution, make sure to indicate that in your question. You can also ask general questions. Do any of you have this major? Do any of you have this sport? But if you want to know specifically about a Manhattan Tech program, make sure to indicate in your question, hey, Manhattan Tech, this question's for you. Uh, you can ask questions of the institutions throughout the entire session. You do not need to wait until they are presenting to ask their questions. So feel free if you've got a question right off the top, but the college isn't presenting until the end, you can submit that question now and they'll work to get the answer to you. As a reminder, your camera and your microphone are turned off. The panelists cannot see or hear you. So any questions you have should get in through that Q&A button that you see on your screen. This is uh, one of three hours of fairs that are happening tonight. So we encourage you to check out the next time slot and other institutions that are presenting in the next grouping. And we are recording this event and all of the recordings will be made available on our website, uh, on the CACRO website very quickly afterwards. The same place you want to register, we'll soon have a recording of all of the programs. This is the order for today. We are in session A4 for today. So we are starting with Manhattan Area Tech followed by Flint Hills Tech, Washburn Tech, Selena Tech, and Eric Fisher. So with that, I'm gonna invite my colleague from Manhattan Area Tech to go ahead and grab the screen share from me. And while they're doing that, um, thank you so much everyone for joining us and I'll hand it over to Manhattan Area Tech. All right. Thank you so much. We'll get started here. All right. So my name is Michelle, I'm with Manhattan Area Technical College, and we are a technical college located in Manhattan, Kansas. We are right by Seco Park. Uh, we're on the western side of Kansas, or western side of Manhattan. Um, and we are, like I said, a technical college. We are uh, based in the trades programs and also um, allied health. And so we'll kind of run through those. Um, we are um, a lot of hands-on learning. What I mean by that, is basically we offer um, a lot of time in the shop or the lab or the clinical site, uh, depending on what program you're in, what that might look like. Uh, we have skilled instructors. Um, they've been in that field prior to the, before they started teaching. And so uh, they've built some contacts up, um, which helps when you start going out into the workforce. And so that's very beneficial. Uh, we have smaller class sizes. We average about 18 is a typical class size for a lot of our programs. Uh, some have a few more, but that's pretty typical. Uh, we have fast education. So a lot of our programs are a certificate program, which means nine months. Um, and then there's some that have the option to do an associate's degree instead. Um, so that's your choice. And that would be a two-year program. Some are only an associate's degree. And so we'll kind of run through those here in just a second. I'm going to start with our one of our trades programs, Automotive Technology. This is a two-year program, so it is an associate's degree. Uh, then we have our Business Administration program. We have two areas that you can go into on the administration side, or you can go into an accounting support side. This you can do as either a certificate or an associate's degree. Uh, then we have our Information and Network Technology. This is an associate's degree. Uh, cybersecurity and IT support is the focus on that program. Uh, in our trades, we have air conditioning and refrigeration or construction technology, it's two programs. Um, those you can either do as a certificate or as an associate's degree. Then we have electric power and distribution. That's um, also known as alignment program, very popular program. This one is a unique in the fact that it starts in January. So most of our programs start in August. Um, the EPD program does start in January, does require a, a class A CDL. Um, so if this program is in, interest you, um, please reach out to me, maybe in the chat or just follow up with us. Uh, we can talk to you a little bit more about that. The welding program is a nine month program, or again, you can do an associate's degree. Then we have um, kind of a new program for us, starts up in uh, 2021 in the fall when you guys graduate, called Critical Environments Technology. And this is really something that's um, kind of groundbreaking across the country. And so a little bit about this program, I got to read my notes because it's so new. 
Um, so this one is um, basically kind of safely maintaining and doing service work in an environment that needs maybe the atmosphere controlled um, or humidity or pressure controlled. So maybe like a greenhouse or on the other extreme, it could be something with biotechnology. And so controlling a virus and that kind of thing. So um, you're tr controlling the atmosphere so to protect the employee going into do service work, maybe heating and air conditioning work, or just um, in general. So um, that's what that uh, program is about. So like I said, groundbreaking. And then we also have biotechnology. Um, this one is going to be a program that you would have to already have a bachelor's degree in coming in to get the certificate in a semester for that one. And then we have in our allied health programs, we have um, practical nursing, which is our LPN program. We have associate degree nursing, which is our RN program. And then medical laboratory technology, which is also an associate's degree. All of these programs do have prerequisite classes required to uh, uh, complete before getting into those programs. And then in our short-term allied health care programs, um, these are just a semester or less. Um, so they're very short-term, very quick programs, certified medical aid, certified nurses aid, emergency medical technician, phlebotomy and IV therapy. Uh, we also offer just in general, general education classes as well. So as far as applying uh, steps to apply, uh, we do have this QR, handy QR code. You're welcome to scan that. It'll take you directly to our application. Uh, but you would just be able to complete our online application, send us your official transcript or have your counselor uh, ask them to do that. You can apply for financial aid. Uh, I do want to point out in the month of October uh, for all high school seniors listening, we are waiving our application fee. Um, the code to do that is apply KAN20. Um, so that is the code for that. So I would encourage you guys to do that, um, to be able to apply for free. Um, also for admission requirements, again, the high school diploma or GED, um, send that. We would need your ACT score or an Placer score. So we do not require that you've taken an ACT. Uh, you can apply for financial aid. We encourage that. Uh, the website for fafsa.ed.gov. You can see our uh, Manhattan Tech School code. And then uh, we definitely would encourage you to schedule a campus visit. You can either do that in person or virtually. We're doing both, uh, whichever you prefer. Uh, you can go on to schedule that appointment. And then I would like to encourage you guys to scan that QR code uh, to be able to send us more information. Um, it would basically give us your information for us to be able to follow up with you. So again, definitely encourage you guys to schedule campus visit. Uh, that's the best way to be able to see at any college, uh, really to kind of see what it's all about and get a feel for the college to see if it's a good fit for you. So um, we would definitely encourage you to come out and take a look at us and see what we have. We think you'll enjoy it here. Um, like I mentioned, if, if a program that I mentioned doesn't seem like it's a great fit for you, um, you could always do some general education classes and then transfer those to another institution as well. So that is what I have. I think I'm very close to the end of my time. So I'm trying to do really good on staying on, on course. So thank you guys so much for listening today. We appreciate your time. Excellent. Thank you so much, Michelle, for sharing that information. Uh, next up, we've got Flint Hills Tech. Flint Hills, feel free to grab screen share from me right now. And as a reminder, students, throughout today's session, you are welcome to ask questions of our presenters. Uh, you don't need to just wait until that uh, institution is presenting. You can ask questions throughout the entire time. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Flint Hills Tech. Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Brian Crouch, and I represent Flint Hills Technical College. And so we are located uh, in the eastern part of uh, Kansas, kind of the central uh, part. Uh, we're located around I-35 in the Kansas Turnpike. And so uh, you can find us and our information on our website at fhtc.edu. And so I'm going to uh, share with you about our campuses a little bit. Uh, we've grown and expanded over the last few years. And so we have multiple campuses now. What you're viewing right now is our main campus. Uh, this is our technology building. And we have 19 programs here at Flint Hills Tech. And so the majority of those are gonna be located on this campus. This is a nice view of campus from the backside where you can see all the buildings and the facilities that we have to offer here in Emporia. And so what I wanna share is make sure you understand that there is more than one building. So downtown is our downtown campus. We have four programs in this campus and we're gonna have all of those programs are available in person, face-to-face -face, or also online. And so feel free to take advantage of that. Uh, this is our welding facility. It's an 18,000 square foot facility that houses only our welding program. It is the elite uh, welding program in Kansas, as far as we believe, and you'll walk out with up to 49 certifications. Uh, this is our Garnett campus. This is a new automotive program that we paired with, uh, with uh, Anderson County High School. 
And so we are now teaching automotive in Garnett as well as our main campus in Emporia. So a few things about FHTC. We are HLC accredited, and that's very important for the students. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're going to an institution that has that accreditation. So if you choose to transfer those classes on, you'll have that ability to transfer on to another institution or university. We have a very small student to instructor ratio. We try and average 14 to one, which means that gives you more one-on-one -on -one time with the instructor. These are the experts in your field. So it's important that you get that time with them. Our job placement rates currently at 96%. Uh, this is a very easy uh, uh, thing for us because right now there's more jobs than there are students. These technical fields are in high demand right now. And so it's really easy for you to walk out getting a high wage uh, position. And of course, we do offer a lot of institutional scholarships. We will uh, award over $150,000 annually to try and help offset the cost of your education when you attend here at Flint Hills Tech College. Now, many high school students can take advantage of the uh, classes that we offer at an early age. Uh, you can start most of our programs as early as high school junior. Some of them you start as a high school senior. Uh, you can take them as concurrent enrollment. So you can get credit not only as a high school student for a high school diploma, but also college credit at the same time. And of course, if possible, we would love for you to be on campus working toward these degrees uh, as early as your junior year. If you can be on campus working on these degrees, you'll get more of that hands-on experience that you're needing to complete your certifications. We offer our classes in a wide variety of times, online, evening, and weekend, and of course, the traditional daytime classes as well. Now, high school students, if you're wanting to start early, you will have the opportunity to obtain free tuition from the state of Kansas. So this is from the CTE fund. And so you can start these programs at very little cost to you. And those that are remote, you can do the online program for that same low cost. Now, this is the list of programs that we offer at FHTC. In the Division of Arts, we have Graphic Arts Technology, Hospitality Culinary Arts, Hospitality Dietary Management, and multimedia design. The Division of Health, we have dental assisting, dental hygiene, emergency services technology. The last three deal with nursing, healthcare administration management, health occupations technology, and practical nursing. Our next division is industrial technology. We have automotive technology, computerized machine tool, industrial engineering, power plant, and welding. Our last division is information technology, where we have a business program, computer program design, and network technology. Now, the last one you see listed there is our technical studies. What we've done is we have created a customized degree where you can take two of these programs and combine them to customize your training here at FHTC. Now, to get started, we will need you to fill out an application. That application is located on our website. If you go to fhtc.edu, you will find this yellow button on the left-hand side that says apply now. Go ahead and click on that button, fill out the application. Our application at Flint Hills is completely free. So anytime you wanna fill that out, go ahead and fill it out and we can get you started through the admissions process. On our website, you'll find lots of other things that would be of interest to you. You can go to programs of study and read more about the instructors and what the classes offer. You can talk about academics. You can find financial aid information on our website. Uh, we have a link to the FAFSA, the government site there. Uh, so all the information that you're going to need, you can find there on our website. And so this is a great tool. So please take a moment and write down that website so you can go and visit that uh, at your next opportunity. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is we are doing a multi-million dollar renovation to our main building. We're in the middle of a $2.4 million renovation, which will allow you to walk into a brand new student commons area a brand new chemistry lab. And those that are inter interested in culinary arts, we are building a brand new kitchen and doubling the size of our current uh, inst uh, kitchen for our culinary program. So please reach out to me. You can call, you can text, you can email. And of course you can find us anywhere on social media. And uh, please look us up, follow us and see what's happening on our campus at FHTC. Thanks for your time this evening and have a good evening.
Great. Thank you so much for sharing that inf uh, information, Brian, and I appreciate uh, those great slides. Next up, we've got Washburn Tech. So Washburn Tech, please feel free to grab screen share from me, please. And as Washburn Tech is getting ready to go with their presentation, a reminder, ask your questions via that Q&A button. It gets sent to all of our presenters, and they'll work to answer the question during their session and then during the entire 45-minute session as well. Uh, and with that, I'm going to hand it over to Washburn Tech. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Stephanie Jones. I'm an admissions counselor here at Washburn Tech, and I'm joined with Jamisha Flowers in the chat room if you have any questions during our presentation. Um, so we are a technical college that's located in Topeka, Kansas, and here at Washburn Tech, we encourage you to build your best self. Sorry, technical difficulties. There we go. All right, whether you're a high school student just starting out or an adult learner looking for a fresh start, Washburn Institute of Technology offers an affordable and achievable path to the future you want. Advanced technology and equipment labs offer hands-on experiences in the classroom and in the field. Washburn Tech works closely with business and industry to ensure all courses teach practical skills that lead to a great job. Here at Washburn Tech, we offer high-tech hands-on experiences in high-demand fields, innovative instructors who prepare you for real world experiences, outstanding career placement, and advanced degrees through our Washburn University affiliation. At Washburn Tech, we help you discover your calling through career specific technical education designed to inform, encourage, and support. At Washburn Tech, we offer a variety of programs from advanced manufacturing, um, those are listed here. For example, we have our Advanced Systems Technology Program, where our experienced instructors teach you how to troubleshoot, repair, and maintain the latest industrial equipment, such as pumps, electric motors, conveyor systems, and production machinery to prepare you to work at one of the leading manufacturing companies in Kansas. In our computer networking technology, we have our information systems technology program where, where you will learn how to build a computer from the ground up. Our students learn to install, configure, and support local area networks as well as wide area networks. Additionally, students learn to monitor the network to ensure availability, security, and website performance. In our construction area, we have our state-of-the-art Midwest training facility where our students enrolled in the climate and energy or HVAC program are trained in the areas of electricity, heating, residential air conditioning, refrigeration, sheet metal fabrication, direct digital controls, and commercial HVAC applications. Transportation. Washburn Tech can map your route to an exciting career in auto collision repair, auto service technician, or diesel technology. You will work with your hands using the latest technology and students also have the opportunity to work with the community on service projects such as recycled rides and restoration at the Combat Air Museum. Business. In our online office programs, you can learn the skills to prepare you for a rewarding future in business, law, or medical offices. Drafting and design. The technical drafting program provides hands-on experience in the proper use of drafting tools, software, and equipment. Healthcare. It's an exciting time to be in healthcare and we offer a variety of programs in the healthcare field. From practical nursing to surgical technology to phlebotomy, our students in healthcare learn with hands-on experiences in our regional simulation lab. And lastly, we have our hospitality and human services area. So here at Washburn Tech, we actually offer one of the very few public cosmetology programs in the state. In this 1500 hour program, you will gain the confidence to take on clients for intricate haircuts and styles, manage hair color, administer facials, and provide nail care, including manicures and pedicures. Washburn Tech provides students with information on business management and growth, giving them the education and skills they need should they dream to become a salon owner themselves one day. Washburn Tech recognizes financial aid is an important part of your decision to attend college, and we've made it easy for you to afford your education. Funding sources include the federal government, the state of Kansas, and Washburn Tech. To apply for federal financial aid, complete the free application for federal student aid at fafsa.gov. Washburn Tech awards more than $100,000 in scholarships each year. Many of these scholarships come directly from business and industry partners who want to see you fill the needs in their workforce. 
Because we're a part of Washburn University, you have the opportunity to pursue an advanced degree. Students are eligible to continue on to the university to obtain their associate's degree at a reduced tuition. Live right where you learn with housing on Washburn University's campus, just 10 minutes away from Washburn Tech. With a wide range of meal plans and community kitchens available, you'll feel right at home. But whether you decide to live on campus or not, you are still considered a Washburn University student and have full access to their campus. So this includes sporting events, student health, and the rec center, just to name a few. If you're interested in Washburn Tech, you can apply with our free online application at washburntech.edu or give us a call at 785-670-2200 and we'd be happy to walk you through the steps or set up a campus visit with you. So that's all I have today. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. Excellent. Thank you so much, Washburn Tech, for sharing that information. Next up, we've got Selena Tech. So Selena Tech, feel free to grab screen share from me. And as Selena Tech is getting squared away, a reminder to use that Q&A to ask your questions of all of the presenters. And we'll uh, have some time at the end to answer them as well. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Preston from Selena Tech. Hey, I hope you guys' days went well. So I'm Preston. I work at Salina Area Technical College. We are kind of central Kansas. Um, and this is a campus map just to kind of see what is all on our campus. We have three buildings up on the top and then the welding building over on the right hand side. So most of our programs are nine months. We do have our automotive collision repair, which is kind of like when you get in a wreck. Um, you will repair all the damage and also learn how to paint the vehicle as well. Um, we also have the business administrative technology program. There are two pathways, the accounting pathway and also the uh, management pathway. So it just kind of depends on what you want to do with your business degree. Computer aided drafting, they do work closely with construction and the machine tool technology program. They build 3D mock designs of tools, um, parts. They also do floor layout plans of the house, which plays into the construction and the tools and parts plays into the machine tool where they'll make a physical copy of whatever you design on the computer. So with the construction program, we do have um, the opportunity to work for the Habitat for Humanities and we build houses every year all the way from laying the concrete to shingling the house or to the roof, sorry. Um, dental assisting, uh, electrical technology, the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning of the HVAC, where you will do refrigeration, ice machines, obviously the heating units and the air conditioning units, sheet metal fabrication, ventilation shafts, things like that. Medical assisting, machine tool technology, and welding technology. And I do want to point out that all these programs are eligible for an associate's degree. If you come a year after, you can take some general education classes along with um, some elective classes to get those hours up to get that associate's degree. We do have a few two-year mandatory programs. The diesel technology program is a mandatory two-year associate's degree only program. We also have the automotive technology program, which would be working on cars. Diesel and automotive kind of go hand in hand, just working on bigger um, vehicles versus smaller ones. Um, that one is a technical certificate program, but there is the option to come for a third year and get that associate's degree as well. So we do have some programs with some prerequisite courses, the practical nursing, the associate's degree nursing, and coming soon, hopefully this fall, pray that COVID lets us, um, the dental hygiene program. So to get into that associate's degree nursing program, you do have to have the prerequisite classes along with the LPN as well. So just a little bit more on some of the programs. They all start in August with the exception of two that you can start in the spring semester as well as in August, which would be the automotive collision repair and the business administrative technology. So maybe you're not sure if you wanna start that in the fall, you think about it and you're like, oh heck yeah, I wanna do that. You can start in January as well for those two programs. Um, we also do have the Allied Health, which would be your CNA, CMA and EMT and the commercial truck driving program. Those are both eight week programs um, and they're really good in high demand. So how to apply? You just go to salinatech.edu and in the upper left-hand corner, it'll say apply now. You'll just follow the steps and it's a totally free application. 
So there are some admissions requirements. We do need an unofficial high school transcript to get you an ex to get you accepted and an official high school transcript to get you enrolled. We do also take GEDs. Um, and another requirement is we need testing scores. So we take the ACT, the SAT, state assessment scores, the NWEA MAP scores, um, and AccuPlacer scores that we provide on campus here. You can also take the AccuPlacer at other institutions and transfer those scores over to us, um, but is a, comprised of a reading, writing, and math test. We do also offer a wide variety of general education classes. Most of these classes can be transferred to any Regent school in Kansas with the exception of technical writing and technical math. Um, we do also have all of our general education classes and all the classes for all the other programs on our website. If you're curious on kind of what classes we offer, you can check that out. So we highly encourage you to schedule a tour or a shadow. So come check us out. You can call me at the number above or email me um, so for a shadow, you can come check out a program and see what a day in the life is like. You'll get hands-on work um, partnered up with some students that are in the program already, and you'll get your hands dirty. You'll be in the shop or the lab area, you know, kind of seeing what a typical day is like to see if you really want to do that. We do also have coming soon a virtual tour. So um, we will have that on our website, and that'll give you a look at the campus, the classrooms, the shops, and the labs, and kind of give you a feel for um, what we look like and how we do things here. All right. Thank you guys. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Excellent. Thank you so much, Preston, for sharing that information. And the final institution in this grouping, we have Eric Fisher. So if my colleagues from Eric Fisher want to go ahead and grab screen share from me real quick. And as they're doing that, a reminder, use that Q&A, submit your questions. They'll be answering them in the chat and at the end as well. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Eric Fisher. And Eric Fisher, you're on mute. Eric Fisher. One moment here, just technical difficulties. All right. <laughs> Here, click on that. No, click on that. And start video. So sorry, guys. All right, there I we apologize go. Apologize for the delay. Okay, well, my name's Kristen. And again, sorry for the delay. I work in the admissions office at Eric Fisher Academy. And I am so excited to be here with you today um, to meet with you to go over all the things that we offer here at Eric Fisher Academy. And I also have Darian here in the admissions office and she'll be handling the Q&A portion of this. Um, so feel free to message her with any questions. Eric Fisher was actually founded in 2007 by our owner and leader, Eric Fisher, who is a world famous cosmetologist and one of the biggest names in the beauty industry. Um, he really founded this um, academy based on his desire to really just be a part of creating that next generation of beauty industry professionals. Here at Eric Fisher Academy, we do offer both cosmetology and aesthetics. Um, both which can be completed in under a year, so our graduates have the benefit of getting started with their careers right away. And with our cosmetology schedule, schedules, we offer two options. We offer both full-time and part-time. Full-time takes about 10 months to complete with good attendance, where the part-time takes about 19 months with good attendance. Um, with that curriculum, they're learning both women's and men's hair cutting, hair color techniques, makeup, nails, waxing, and facials. Aesthetics on the other side is only offered full time and it takes about seven to eight months to complete with good attendance. And that curriculum covers advanced skincare techniques, covers extractions, it covers both basic and um, special effects makeup training, it covers full body waxing and lash extensions. Not only do we teach the technique that our students lead, need to be successful, but we also teach the business side as well. Prosper U is our business curriculum, and it's actually immersed in both the cosmetology and the aesthetics program. With this business curriculum that was actually written by our owner, Eric Fisher, these students are learning how to offer legendary customer service, how to, how to build and maintain a clientele, how to set financial goals, 
Um, and we teach them to track their numbers while in school. So they're tracking all their retail, their pre-booking, their up-servicing numbers. And we really focus on helping them build good habits while they're in school um, so they can be prepared for success when they graduate from the academy. In fact, many employers have shared with us that that's really one of their favorite parts, parts about hiring Eric Fisher Academy graduates. And not only do we focus on um, really holding them to high standards at EFA, but we love to focus on having fun as well. Uh, we believe that learning should be fun and we really created a positive culture that we feel makes this learning experience memorable for our graduates. They have a, lots of um, extracurricular activities that they can get involved in while they're attending EFA. And um, one of those is leadership where they can actually volunteer and be a part of planning events for the entire school. In fact, right now we have a really fun flip cup tournament going on with water, of course, and um, our students on our leadership team are also planning our annual Halloween party, as well as our upcoming talent show and spirit week. Um, we, as a school, we also love to give back to the community. Um, in the past, we have participated in various events like the Magic Yarn Project, um, pampering NICU parents at Wesley Medical Center, as well as, as, well as um, providing service to raise money for organizations like Beauties and Beasts. Uh, many of our graduates have actually shared with us that they felt like when they left the academy, they didn't leave with just a beauty license, but also with lifelong friendships as well. And for those of you that are curious um, what the academy looks like, Eric Fisher Academy is actually an 18,000 square foot facility with 56 styling stations out on the salon floor for our cosmetology students. We have eight shampoo bowls that they all share in the middle. There's a brow bar for facial waxing, a makeup bar for client makeup applications, um, they have a color bar for mixing hair color. And then we are also very proud to announce the opening of our, um, our brand new spa for estheticians. In that spa, you'll see the entrance there to the brand new spa. Um, there are eight brand new spa beds, two separate and private waxing rooms, as well as um, a variety of different types of technology that they can work on um, with their clients as they're learning in that spa. Um, we're also very proud to have our own video and photo studio where our students can get experience getting their work photographed for various competitions like the North American Hairstyling Awards. In fact, one of the um, projects that our students get to work on while they're in school at the academy is their own one-on-one -on -one photo shoot with Eric Fisher where they actually get to do all the styling on a model of their choice and he does all the photography. So they get some really great shots for their portfolio and they get some really fun experience at a whole more um, or a whole different type of fun and creative side of this industry. So if any of this sounds exciting to you and you'd like to learn more, we'd love for you to check us out more at our website at ericfisheracademy.com. Um, here on our landing page, you will see you can navigate our website by your program interest. So you can click on view cosmetology or view aesthetics. And at the top, we have a whole virtual tour there for, that we would love for you to check out. If you click on that virtual tour, you can actually navigate and walk through the school all there from the convenience of your own computer, which is really cool. Um, so we'd love for you to check that out. Please make the time to do that. Um, definitely worth your while. And then on the side over here, you'll also see all these other tabs where you can check out, again, the program by, um, you can check out the kit, you can check out um, more about the team. You can look at our photo and video gallery, which has really fun runway shows, learn about scholarships, financial aid, um, at the bottom, you'll also see a tab to request information. I know we just kind of scratched the surface today. So if you have more questions, you can see our start dates coming up in 2021 for all you seniors. And we'd love for you to input your information there. If you have questions, admissions will get back with you just as soon as we can. And we'd love to assist you with all those questions. And for those of you that are juniors and seniors, um, we'd also love for you to take the next step. Um, we'd love to schedule a campus visit for you. You can call, text or again, submit your information at ericfisheracademy.com. But thank you for your time. Excellent, thank you so much. All right, so in the last few minutes, I'm gonna encourage all of the presenters uh, to turn their videos and cameras on. We have a quick round robin question. So we'll ask everyone uh, a very brief question here. And we'll go in the same order that you presented. But my question for the group is, what is the most favorite thing about your institution? What, what do you love the most about your institution? And uh, let's go ahead and start with Manhattan Area Tech. All right, well, thank you. I would say um, I, I love the fact that uh, it's just a very family friendly atmosphere is probably what I love the most about Manhattan Tech. So we're a smaller institution, so we have a lot more one-on-one uh, -on -one interactions and that kind of thing. So um, I really enjoy that aspect. 
Awesome. Thank you. Brian, what's your favorite thing about Flint Hills Tech? Sorry, Michelle, I'm going to steal also. Same thing. We're very friendly. Uh, it's kind of Kansas roots, I think. Uh, you know, if you live in Kansas, everybody's pretty friendly. Uh, but to be a little uh, personal, uh, the food, our culinary program, man, they rock the, rock the food. They cook every Thursday for us. So we get some pretty sweet cuisines on Thursday when they, when they cook for us. I love that. Awesome. Washburn Tech, favorite thing? All right. Well, I think us tech colleges are all pretty similar, but I would say we're definitely a smaller campus. And so we're all very family um, and friendly towards each other. And our Washburn University affiliation, I like that our students have that opportunity to continue on um, and have those resources on um, the university's campus as well. Very cool. Is Sal I know I said it wrong before. It's Salina. Yeah, it's Salina. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, nah, you're good, man. Uh, so we do a lot of things for the students. We have a lot of student appreciation days, Valentine's Day celebrations. We have cookouts all the time. Um, just different things like that to get the students to intermingle with each other, to intermingle the programs, and just make, like everyone's already said, make it more of a family-oriented kind of campus. Very cool. And Eric Fisher Academy. I would say just the facility and the busy salon floor and spa, I think make this opportunity priceless. Um, it definitely simulates what it's actually out, what it's like to work out there in the industry because they do stay so busy with clients. Um, so I think that facility and the brand new spa um, is a highlight for sure. Great, and one more question for everyone. What is a piece of advice you're gonna give to a senior that is watching this right now or watching this recording? What's one piece of advice you'd give to a senior watching this or watching this uh, as a recording? We'll start, same order, Manhattan Tech, Michelle. I would say uh, do a campus visit. See, see what's a right fit for you. Um, tour the, the college and, uh, um, and and let you know the college talk to you, let the instructors talk to you and see what's a good fit for you. Because until you go there, you really just don't know um, and, and whether it's us or another institution, I, you know, we want you to be happy. And, and I think you just have to know um, what really works for you and, and see what the town's like and that kind of thing. I think that's really, I think, the best advice um, that any of us can give. But that's one that I would give to you. Great. Thanks. Brian. Yeah, uh, I would make sure and do some shadow time. I know Preston mentioned it during his presentation. Uh, you know, get out into the field, um, explore, uh, spend some time with some professionals that are doing it. Because um, the worst thing you can do is spend time and money on education and then not use it uh, to its fullest. So spend some time shadowing professionals, explore, make sure that's really something you want to pursue. And again, you can do that by taking campus visits, um, by uh, finding some professionals in your area that you can get into and check it out. And so that's really important. And then again, checking out the towns, uh, you know, there's more to college than just the campus itself. Get into the, to the cities, to the towns and see what the town has to offer because you're gonna be spending two, three, four years there, depending on where you're going. And you wanna make sure and enjoy that uh, as much as you can. Great, Stephanie, tips of advice for a senior in high school. Um, I would say apply early to colleges that you're interested in, especially those with free applications like Washburn Tech and I think a few other ones are free as well, um, or take advantage of those um, discounts during the month of October that I know Manhattan is offering. Um, so that way you have time to talk to those schools, talk to the reps, take campus visits like everybody else has said, so you can make sure you make an informed decision. Awesome. Move on over to Preston. I'm just going to beat a dead horse. Go visit all the different colleges. Find what's best for you. Also work hard in high school. College is a big jump. Um, you just want to make sure that you're prepared. Um, you get that freedom getting away from mom and dad, you know, it's all fun and games. And then classes hit. So make sure you're working hard and doing your work and just enjoy being a kid for a little bit longer though. Great. And Kristen? I would say just ask good questions. I know everyone's touched on, you know, visit. I think that's important, but plan ahead. Think about what you want to ask, what's important to you. Every school is not the same and your education definitely matters. So I know just speaking from our industry, we're all very different. So I think it's important to ask the right questions, talk to people and find out what's important to know about that industry. Um, so you even know what questions, sometimes it's hard to know what should I be asking, but think about asking not just questions or showing up for a visit, but go prepared and ask the right questions. All right, final question for everyone, same round robin. Uh, we have mentioned one of the most important tips is to visit, visit, visit. Um, so let's just do a quick gauge of where we are at visits on campus. So can, are there tours? Do you, are you welcoming visitors right now, Manhattan Area Tech? Uh, yes, we are doing both in-person and uh, virtual visits. So whichever one you feel more comfortable with, we are doing both. 
Awesome. Brian? Yes, same thing. We're doing virtual and in-person. Our in-person is limited uh, numbers, so yourself plus two guests can attend, um, and that's what we're doing right now. Awesome. Stephanie? Just to repeat, same thing. Um, we can do in-person. We also can only have two guests in person, and we can do um, virtual visits where we'll include the instructor on the Zoom call as well if you have specific questions about um, the programs. Cool. Preston? Yeah, so we're still working on our online virtual tour, but that's supposed to be coming out hopefully later this week. Um, so we have that option. And then again, same as everybody else, one person with masks, we check your temperature, all that good stuff. And um, a couple guests as well, but definitely can come out to our campus and check it out as well. Cool. And finally, Kristen. Very same as the other schools. Yeah, most of our visits we're doing right now have been on campus, but we do have the virtual option as well. So we wanna do what's comfortable for the prospective students, but when they do come on campus, of course, we're being safe, temperature checks, masks, all of that limit to guests, um, but yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you to the reps for uh, spending this time with all of us. Um, students, thank you as well for joining in. Uh, we're going to hang here for the next few minutes because I know that there's a few questions that just came in um, for specific institutions. Um, so reps, check your Q&A to respond to those. Students, um, type your questions if, if you have them. If not, thank you so much for joining us for this hour. Uh, we encourage you to check out the rest of the programming and uh, see the other sessions happening in the next uh, few hours. Just a reminder, this is today's schedule. We're in A4, but there's a whole B session happening and then an entire C session happening as well. So it uh, looks like the question got answered, which is great. So I'm going to uh, bid adieu to my colleagues here today. And thank you all for joining us. And students, thanks for joining us as well. Take care, everyone. Have a great night.